AI has been kind of taking over the world with cutting edge technology able to write entire programs and create art pieces in seconds. And this got me thinking, can AI be used to make a video game? Today, I'm gonna to be putting that to the test by challenging my friend Ben Bonk to an AI game creation competition. All of the code and art assets have to be made completely with AI. This is a terrible idea. Basically, the way this will work is all of the game scripts are going to be written with chat GPT. By giving it a prompt, it can turn anything into a Unity script. Generate a 2D C sharp Unity script that lets you control the player. Look at this. Isn't this actually insane? All of the code in our games have to be generated through chat GPT. But then what about art assets, textures, sprites? That is where Stable Diffusion comes in. Stable Diffusion can turn any prompt into a high res digital image. So watch this. A very handsome looking man with flowing brown hair wearing a dark green shirt. And do you see that guys? It looks just like me. Look at the similarity. By just describing myself, I was able to generate a digital portrait of me. This is cutting edge technology that I'm pretty sure we can use to make a video game. Let's get this started. Ben Bonk, hello. You've actually done this before, haven't you? Yeah, I I'm very experienced with ChatGPT. Kind of a pro, honestly. Do you have any tips for a newbie like me? Honestly, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't want to tell you anything. Wow, thank you. I, I see how it is. You just <laughs> You just don't you just don't want to help out the little guy, I see. What we will do, we can generate a theme with Chat GPT. Innovation. I mean I don't okay. really know what to <laughs> I will set a timer for 90 minutes. As soon as I press this button, the challenge will officially begin. Three, two, one. Alright. Okay, let's go. Good luck, Ben Bonk. Bad luck to you. We'll show him. I don't need his luck. The game idea. First of all, we need a game idea. Innovation is the theme. I have my idea, guys. So there's this game called Little Alchemy, where you basically combine elements in unique ways to form new elements. And the goal is to create all of the possible combinations to get your last like final resource. So yeah, that is my game idea. Let's get to work. First, business give me an idea for a game this is going to be the worst game i ever made inventor of the light bulb <laughs> okay this could be kind of funny actually first order of business i have a bunch of innovators here thomas edison give me an image of thomas edison okay that's like too good you know what i'll do this one <laughs> We should make a game about baking a cake. That's that's a good one. So, so let's come up with all of the different elements and their combinations. We can keep it pretty simple. Final element is cake. Let's ask chat GPT what the ingredients are of cake. Eggs? Okay, eggs and flour. Let's do it, let's do it. So eggs plus flour equals cake. How do you make eggs? Ooh, a chicken, a chicken. How do chickens hatch eggs? What instrument is used to make a chicken lay an egg? Chickens do not lay eggs using any kind of instrument. Okay, what instrument can be used to force a chicken? to lay an egg. It is not appropriate or humane to force a chicken to lay an egg. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm like losing my mind. I don't even know if I've described what I'm doing, but it's gonna be, you gotta guess who the innovator is. Super good game idea, I know. Generates a C-sharp Unity script that allows you to drag an object with the mouse. If this works, that's actually crazy. What the hell? No way, no way. AI is taking all of our jobs, bro. There's no point in being a programmer, guys. Now, if I create a 2D object in my game view, I should be able to click on this object and drag it with the mouse, which is actually crazy. And it works. And I did not even have to write a single line of code. That is absolutely insane. So let's start off by generating a sprite for our stone. 2D rock sprite that can be used in a video game. This, this is, this is, this is fine. This is fine. 
Now while we're at it, we can go through with like a couple more. Let's do wood, stone, and axe. 2D wooden plank sprite that can be used in a video game. This is fine, this is fine. Oh wait, all the art for the game. Did, does this does this count as art? Uh, you know what, okay, sure. While I wait for this, I need to get a beautiful background. Make me a beautiful background for a trivia game game i spelled beautiful wrong bang that no no that is not beautiful that is not beautiful here is the script that you can use to spawn a prefab on collision with an object with a specific tag it actually works it actually look this works this is so good this is actually so good this is crazy sorry i'm actually i'm actually blown away right now this is exactly what we need. Okay. This AI can code better than me. So now we can spawn axes when you drag these things onto each other. And you can drag around the axes. This is already working pretty well. We have the axe, which is made up of wood and stone. Now we need the flower, which is made up of wheat and fire. Is that is that flower? That doesn't look like flower to me. Bag of flower sprites. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I, I guess, I guess this looks kind of suspicious. Um, this, this is flower though. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'll say 2D cartoon wheat that can be used in a video game. This, 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 this looks just like wheat. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay, I need one more thing. One more thing and then we're almost done. We're not, not, okay, I'm almost done with all the, the code. Write me a C sharp unity 2d script uh score manager okay add score score amount uh no 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 i need i need i need okay that might actually be good enough i i genuinely might not finish this so these are the base elements you know the five core elements of earth chicken wheat fire stone and wood everyone knows those five they're just the classic so here is how you play so for starters you're going to get your egg so what you're gonna do is you're gonna craft yourself an axe using wood and stone and then you're going to you know just give give the chicken a tap with the axe just a light tap with the axe to harvest it you're you're, you're not killing the chicken you're just harvesting it for its egg and then you're gonna want to bake your wheat into flour by putting your wheat into the fire and now you have wheat and eggs and then finally how do you build your cake you take your flour you take your eggs and bam we did it. Our game is complete, or at the very least, our game is functional. And yeah, I think we're... Bro, that's so loud. Oh my, oh my. That is time. Hello. How did your game go? I'm happy with it. It's time to play Ben Bonk's game. Top 10 innovator. All right, start. Oh, it's a quiz. I see, it's a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Harold Ford, Hendrick Ford, Henrik Ford, or Henry Ford. I think this is Henry Ford, creator of the model. Oh my, that's so. <laughs> you you just you just murdered you just murdered. Sorry, my ears. super loud. All right, Alexander Bell, Xander Graham Bell, Alec Graham Bell, or Alexander Graham Bell. Easy. Thomas Edison. Oh wait, I actually don't know because I don't know what he actually looks. I, I know it's not George Westinghouse or Giglielmo Mac Marconi because it's yeah, not top. So easy, is it? Yeah, because it's top ten innovators. So it has to be either Nikola Tesla or Thomas Edison. Um, I think it's Thomas Edison though. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zucker Spaniel. Mark Zuckerberg puppy colon. <laughs> or Mark Zuckerberg. That's what happens when you say a funny name related to Mark Zuckerberg. Polly Mars. I wish. I wish I was as handsome. Steve Jobs snack. Steve Jobsicle. Or Steve Jobs. All right. This is too easy. It's Polly Mars. Oh. Wait. <laughs> that I thought maybe Stable Diffusion thought that I was that attractive, but I guess I was wrong. Ah, oh, seven out of ten. Beautiful game over screen. This definitely makes sense. So this 
is called Cake Baking Simulator Deluxe. And what you do is you drag the elements around and you have to combine elements with other elements to form new elements. And the goal is to create a cake. Okay, we have to make a cake. Is this wood? Wood in there? Oh, I'm trying to think. Maybe, okay. maybe, maybe. Um, we gotta cook maybe. the chicken. Oh, I guess not. Uh, okay. I don't think chicken is in cake. Um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I still have no clue what this is. Like, what in the world? It's something. They... It's something that oh. grows. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what you did there. You baked the wheat to create flour. That was wheat. It was a beautiful wheat spray. That's one ingredient for your cake. And now you need one the other ingredient. And then those two combine to make the cake. Obviously, the rock and the wood. <gasps> Stone and wood are used to create an axe. So you just create an axe. So now we just have to kill you the better, chicken. You <gasps> better, oh, you better, I was gonna say you better not harm the chicken, but you didn't even hesitate. You just slaughtered it. And then no. you have an egg and you have flour. I wonder what you do now. I don't know. I'm kind of stuck. Can you, can you give me like a hint or something? No. Oh, okay. <gasps> Let's go. That's the cake. What do you think of the cake I baked? It's a, a portrait of you. <laughs> it's beautiful. That's the game. Cake Baking Simulator Extreme Deluxe by Polymars. Fire game. And now game. it is time for chat to decide who is the better AI game developer. I won't give you guys my opinion, but I will say that that was a really beautiful cake sprite. All right, what what is going? It's five. It's five to zero. Yes, yes. Keep the boats coming, boys. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Oh, thank you, thank you, Ben Bond, for voting for me. Oh, oh six oh, two, no. six two. This is it. This is my comeback. One vote difference. Six five. Oh gosh, it's close. Six to five. Six six. It's, it's, tied. Tied. No. it's tied. It's tied. It's <laughs> tied. Six six. It's anyone's game at this point. Six, no. seven, what? The plot <laughs> twist. The plot twist of the century. Three, two, one. Dude, you you lost by one vote and you voted for me. <laughs> that backfired a little bit for you. 